good morning from the Disney Wonder. It is now our third night, third full day, no, second full day, third day on the Wonder. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it is Glacier Day, so we've had one full day at sea. Today we are not at a port, so we won't be getting off the ship, but we will, we will be going up close to the glacier. It is also the day that we are going to see all of the characters out in their Alaska costumes, and tonight there is a Frozen stage show which was canceled the last time I was in Alaska, so I have not seen it. I don't know anything about it, so I'm excited for that. And we have a Frozen dinner menu, yeah, I believe, as well. So we'll be back in the Animator's Palette with a Frozen-themed menu. So that should be cool. But we are getting close to the glacier, so we'll be heading up on deck. Just a lot of, you know, looking out at the glacier today and finding all the different characters around the ship. I'm sure we'll explore a little bit in the afternoon as well. But the next few hours will just be all about watching the glacier, which will be really cool. It's definitely starting to get colder, mm -hmm. but there's so much to look at right now. Hopefully that's focused, but all kinds of snowy mountains everywhere. It's very cool. We are now up on deck nine midship? Deck 10 midship. Deck 10 midship. And we are in line for Daisy Duck. They already had Mickey out in his Alaskan costume. They cut his line off, but I've heard rumors that when we get to go to our concierge glacier viewing, hopefully Mickey will make an appearance. If not, we'll try to meet him later this afternoon. And they have a very long line for Minnie on the other side of the deck, but right behind where they cut off the line for Mickey, the line has now formed for Daisy, and of course, Amanda needs to meet Daisy in her Alaskan gear. So that's what we're in line for right now, and we're hoping that we're gonna ideally see most of them, if not all of them, throughout the day. They're all meeting on either side of Deck 10 Midship, so you get a really nice backdrop behind them with all of the mountains. So, first up we'll be meeting Daisy, and then we'll see who else um, we have time to meet. Our concierge meeting time to go down for our glacier viewing is at 1.15, so we do have to make sure that we you know, don't get in line too late to miss that. But we know Goofy's next, Donald comes out at some point. I don't know if Pluto was on the schedule, I assume he was, but they all have their own Alaskan gear, and today is the only day you're going to see them in that outfit. So mostly, you know, the islands was the humanized again, like the sundown, there's been some natives, there's been some mining, but besides this, that most of this hasn't really been touched by humans at all, at all over the hundred years since Alaska has been here. We are getting close to the glacier entrance. Got some ice in the water now. The views are incredible, but we're also almost at the front of the line to meet Daisy. I think Amanda's ready. I've been trying to find her for the past three days, and she betrayed me. Yeah, we tried to meet her on the first night in her 25th outfit, and we missed the line, and then yesterday we were in line to meet her again, and she didn't come out for some reason. They said she was unfortunately unable to come out. So, and then she was out last night in her formal gear, but we've We've met her in her formal gear, so hopefully she'll be out in her 25th outfit again later this cruise, but today she's in her flannel and her jean jacket. She did walk past us as she came out. She looks great, but we have this view while we wait. All right, so before we meet her, I did want to show her outfit. So this is kind of on either side of the funnel. This is where the characters are, looking down at the middle of the ship there with the main pool. They're meeting up here by the funnel, so this is where you'll find any of the characters in their Alaskan gear. Got that awesome backdrop to meet them in. Oh, look at her! <laughs> you can go. <laughs> so we're here in the concierge lounge. I will give a better look at it later because I don't want to get too many people in the shop, but we have met here to head towards our 
special viewing. So we'll be heading up there in a couple of minutes. But the view, we're heading closer and closer into the glacier. So now we are surrounded on either side by rocks, ice, whales, eagles, all kinds of stuff. We are now up through the cast, through the crew area, up by the bow of the ship, with a view of all the ice. Chocolate, snacks, blankets. Concierge is taking care of us as we still make our way closer and closer to the glacier. Saw some bald eagles flying by. Still keeping an eye out for some other wildlife right underneath the bridge as well. So the captain's up there. Let me try to show a good, another view of Mickey and his awesome gear. State show, the freezing the night away. This was canceled the last time I was on Alaskan cruise, so I'm not sure what to expect. Get ready to shake your booty and on the <laughs> Something else you love. Parties. 
Yeah, that's right. We do love parties. Our games. My point is, we love parties and games too. But you know who really loves games? Seth. When I was a kid, we came up with reindeer games. They're his favorite. Which one should I take to us? Sven? Sven says. No, the name of the game is Sven It's life-size, it says, but only with Sven. Well, I must say, I do speak on about a rain game myself. Are you all ready? Sven? Sven says, cut your hoops. Thank 
Tonight we are back in Animator's Palette. Tonight it's all blue and purple for the Frozen dinner, continuing the trend from the Freezing the Night Away stage show that we just saw. And there's a special menu for Frozen as well. So it's a different menu that we haven't had before. Here is a look at some of the different options. We did just get the bread and it is a rye bread with a liver pate dip. We did ask for butter as well because we're not sure about the liver dip, but maybe I'll try it. I also think I'm gonna try one of the vegetarian options. I haven't done that in a while. But they do have the carrot soup, which I've had on the Wish, which I'm a big fan of, so I'm excited to have that. First up, I have Sven's carrot soup. I assume it's similar to the one I've had on the Wish, which is also called Sven's carrot soup, but we will find out. And then Amanda has a tart Yo, of some kind. Tart, and it said it has onions and thyme. Okay, it looks good. I debated getting that. And then my mom just got a custom salad because this menu didn't have much that interested her, so they got her a salad. And then Jaden and my dad have a pastry. Oh, it's Elsa's Coronation Scallops, which Jaden is digging for. They're in there somewhere. It looks messy. Here is a look at my salad. Looks really good and it has my lingonberry dressing. So instead of going for an appetizer, which there was a few that I thought sounded pretty interesting, I wanted a salad and a soup because these both sounded really good. The carrot soup did taste very similar to the Wish. So if you've been on the Wish and you liked that, it's basically the same here on the Wonder. Here's a look at the entrees. So I did end up going vegetarian. I got the vegetable turnover which I haven't had this before, so something new to try. Amanda got the lobster. Lobster, lobster ravioli. Which you said looked very good. Yeah, it looks It does good. look good. It looks like ravioli. Jaden got, got... Anna's honey mustard... Salmon. Marinated salmon. Okay. And then my mom got an adult portion of the spaghetti that they had on tonight's kids menu. So they got her a big bowl of spaghetti. All right, here is dessert. Amanda's gonna tell us what Jaden got because I have no idea. Oh, it's the pancake. Okay, I've had them on the wish. They're very good. Then Amanda got Elsa's chocolate and raspberry tart. Looks exciting. And then I have Olaf's, which was a carrot cake with white chocolate. My dad got the Oaken's apple pie of some form. Apple pudding, apple pudding with vanilla ice cream. And then my mom got the sundae, which I think was strawberry? Strawberry of some kind. Frozen yogurt, right, with pistachio. Good morning from our first port day. We are in Skagway. And today we do have an excursion. This is not a huge city to walk around. I mean, there's a little bit, of, there's a little town. So this is the gangway right underneath us. And a little hard to see from here, but there is a bit of a town up there. Now, if I remember from the last time I was here, it, it is a smaller town to walk around. So I don't know if we'll be exploring Skagway a ton after our excursion, but we will be doing the White Pass Railroad we did that when I was here eight years ago. It was very foggy, so we didn't get to see much. Hopefully today will be a bit clearer. It looks really nice out so far. So I'm very excited to ride the train. I love trains, and it is a historic railroad that goes all throughout the surrounding area. You can actually see the train right kind of in front of those buildings. And I'm, I'm very, I'm ready. <laughs> And then once we get back, it is only about three hours, I believe, on the train. So we'll have plenty of time afterwards if we do want to explore. I just know there won't be a ton to walk around and look at. So we'll get back on board, hopefully, in you know early to mid-afternoon. And then we'll be able to explore the ship some more. I know I really haven't shown a huge amount of the ship. Tonight's dinner is at Tiana's Place. So that is a brand new restaurant to all of us, so I'm excited for that. We will maybe try another lounge. I do want to try the French Quarter Lounge, which is right outside of Tiana's. I will still show all the other ones. If I don't, 
you know, depending on which lounges we go to over the next three days when we're at, at our ports of call, we do have the final day at sea before we go back to Vancouver where I can walk around and show a lot of those different places around the ship while we're on board. But I will definitely try to show any of the lounges that we might go to. Of course, I'll show Tiana's place. We will still show the merchandise. Of course, all the stores are closed until we leave port. So if we go into the stores tonight, I will make sure to show that. Otherwise, it will definitely be in one of these videos before the end of our cruise, since there is all of the Alaska-specific merchandise. And yeah, we'll see what else we get to do tonight. But it's our first day that we are able to get off and explore Alaska.
Tonight's dinner is in Tiana's place. First time seeing this restaurant, which is very exciting. I know there will be a live show of some kind. So this used to be, I believe, Parakee. It looks very different now. So we've got all kinds of fun Mardi Gras colors. we got the stage over there. There was a really cool entrance with all kinds of beads, decorations. But this is a look at the main dining room. And it's a very different menu, so we'll see what we end up getting. I know there's some regional options based on Alaska, so I'm probably I'm definitely gonna try this cheese and bacon tartlet. There's a spinach soup, and then I don't know what happened. What entree I'm gonna get? I was between the sirloin steak and the vegetable turnover, which I had last night. I had a different turnover, and that one was really good. I know Amanda might try some more adventurous stuff. Here is a look at some of the appetizers here at Tiana's place. So Amanda got the hot crab dip. Yeah, Louisiana hot crab dip. And then both of us got this cheddar cheese and bacon tartlet. Looks really good. And I did want to also show the custom plates for Tiana's place. And of course all that beautiful background music we've got going on here. So this restaurant so far is awesome. Next up we have Jaden's lobster salad. And then I got the lentil soup, which does have andouille sausage, which will also be in my entree. I ended up going for the jumbo shrimp because it has jambalaya rice. But I figured this is a more New Orleans type of flavor for Tiana's place. Here's a look at the entrees. Three of us got the jumbo shrimp with the jambalaya rice. And then Jaden got the strip steak over there. And my mom got Tom turkey and Tiana Oh, Lewis is here. Here's a look at dessert. Three of us got the baked Alaska. I'm showing Amanda's because mine has a crater in it. But my mom got the banoffee cream pie. And then Jaden got <laughs> Maltonia. Maltonia Berry Fiancé. Something like that. But look at my crater. We are here in the French Quarter Lounge. I got the Bayou Mojito. My mom got a glass of Moscato, and then Amanda got the 25th anniversary drink, which is the Jubilee by the Sea. I want to give a quick look at the lounge itself. This has completely changed since the last time I was on the water. It's all very New Orleans themed, of course, with some live music.
Here's one more look at the French Quarter Lounge, which is now closed for the night. They had a happy hour from 10 to 11, so we came in right before it closed. But now we are heading back to the cabin. That is going to be it for both the Glacier Day and our first day of Port in Skagway. So we're kind of merging a bunch of these videos together just because a lot of this cruise is sitting out on the balcony enjoying the surroundings of Alaska. It's very different, of course, than a Caribbean cruise. So I'm really trying to highlight or uh, film the highlights rather than every step of the day since it's not so much doing onboard activities. It's really just enjoying a more, a more unique cruise. But the Glacier Day was awesome. Having the, the special concierge viewing was incredible. And then, of course, the train ride in Skagway was great. We had way better luck this time. The first time we did the train eight years ago, it was completely foggy and we couldn't see anything. So actually getting to see everything around the train this time was far more enjoyable. And then we did walk around a little bit afterwards. It's definitely a smaller port, so we didn't do a ton. We did a little bit of shopping and then we got back on board. But we had two great days between both Skagway and the Glacier. This is being filmed in the future, of course. We're now at Ketchikan. So definitely stay tuned if you want to see our other ports of call, Juno, Ketchikan, and then we still have another day at sea. That's going to be it for this video, so definitely give it a like if you enjoyed the beginnings of our journey into Alaska. And there are more videos on the way. So thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time we go to Disney and beyond.